Why hello there traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the latest version of Pi Connector version three. So if you're not familiar with what Pi Connector is, I've covered this on the channel before. It's a bridge between TradingView and MetaTrader. So you can essentially automate your TradingView scripts directly through your broker and auto trade. None of the material in this video is financial advice. I'm experienced in managing my own finances, but I'm not qualified to give anyone advice on what to buy or sell. You should always do your own research and due diligence before engaging in trading or investing. And please seek professional guidance if you need it. And just while editing this, I thought I should probably show you guys proof that this actually works. So here was a test account I used with Pine Connector um, with my ultimate pullback indicator. I only ran it for a couple of months. Let's go have a look in a second. Um, but we did have a 15% return. It wasn't a particularly large account. It was only three grand or so. Now to be fully transparent, that is a particularly low allocation of capital for me to a system. But for this particular test, it was an experiment and I didn't have a high degree of confidence in it. It was an experiment that I hadn't done the rigorous backtesting process with. And so I kept my account size very small. But as a result of that experiment, I am very seriously considering increasing my allocation to automated Forex trading this year. Now that Pine Connector version three is out, and so I'm excited to explore this new and improved tool with you guys. First of all, I'm going to assume you guys already have MetaTrader 4 or 5 installed. I'm using MetaTrader 5 today, but you can use MetaTrader 4 if you prefer. The syntax for telling Pine Connector what to do is the same between both versions. So if you're new to Pine Connector, you will need to create an account. Once you have done that, come to the V3 portal. And then down here on the left will be the downloads tab. Click that and download the version you plan to use. So I'm going to click MetaTrader 5. Now my Pine Connector um, EA just automatically installed itself. But if yours doesn't do that, you can come up to file and click open data folder. And you need to go to your downloads folder, copy or cut that uh, expert advisor file into MQL5 experts. Mine's already in there, so I won't do that, but that's how you can install the file manually or the expert advisor. Once you've done that, right click it, attach the chart, and now we need to input some settings. So on your Pine Connector dashboard, there will be a wiki link here. You can click on that. That'll bring up the instruction manual. Click on EA setup, select your version of MetaTrader, and we've already downloaded the file. We've already installed it. Now we need to allow DLL imports and configure web request. So I'm going to click copy on this here, bring up pine connector slash MetaTrader tools options. And then we need to go here, make sure allow DLL imports is turned on, allow web request. And then I'm going to double click this, paste in that uh, URL there. And now I also need to make sure allow algorithmic trading is turned on. That's what pine connector does. It's an algorithmic trading bot of sorts. So we need to turn that on. I'm gonna leave these as the uh, default settings. It shouldn't really matter. Um, but if you know what you're doing, you can play around with them. Click OK. And now we're ready to attach Pine Connector to our chart. So right click this, attach to chart. And now we need to input our Pine Connector settings. Now we don't need to worry about this. Just make sure this is ticked. Allow DLL imports. Come over to uh, common, make sure that's enabled. And now inputs, here is where we set up this expert advisor. Now, if you followed my previous tutorial series on Pi Connector version two, not a lot has changed with this latest version, but there are some differences which we'll go over in future videos throughout the series. For today, I'm just showing you how to get this set up and fire your first test trade. I'm on a demo account here through Pepperstone. Um, I recommend doing all your testing on a demo account unless you don't mind burning money. If you do test it on a real money account, make sure it's a, a small balance. Uh, but testing the syntax on a demo account is perfectly fine. It's the same between live trading and demo, so there's no reason not to use a demo account. Uh, let's scroll down here. Now I need to input my license ID. So here is my license ID here. I need to copy this number under pre-assigned license, uh, or there will be a list of licenses here if you add extra licenses, which we'll go over in future videos. But um, for now, one license should be fine. That's all we need. Let's jump over, paste that in here. I'm going to leave all of these settings as, a, as the default for now. Let's go back to the guide real quick. Um, now we need to check our connections. So once we've put in our license ID, we can click OK. Give the expert advisor a minute. In a moment, this will pop up. Boom. Successfully connected to Pine Connector server. We're good to go. 
the reason why my um, <laughs> interface here is all screwed up is because I'm recording this on a zoomed in resolution. I'll show you guys how to fix that in a future video, but for now I will uh, just turn it off. So if we come down to dashboard, set that to off, click OK, it's gone. All right, so we're good to go. We're good to fire off our first test alert. So let's have a look here. Now we can check our dashboard, make sure that that um, all updated. There we go. Look at that. Pepperstone. That's my um, currently logged in broker. Status is connected. Perfect. Now it's important to mention this note here that you don't have to attach this um, tool, this expert advisor script to every market you want to trade. You only need to attach it to one chart on uh, MetaTrader and it will gain access to all your tradable symbols. So once you've set this up on one of your uh, symbols, you can trade any symbol you have active. All right, so we'll go over the expert advisor options in the next video. Um, for now, let's just fire off a test alert. So if we come down to alerts, sending a test alert, we need to send our alert to this URL. Ignore this one. This is for the old version of Pine Connector, which will be phased out in the next few months. So we'll be focusing on this one for now. Um, we need to find the symbol we want to trade, create a trading view alert. So Aussie dollar is green. We'll stay on Aussie dollar since that's on my chart here. Aussie dollar is green, which means it's tradable, which means I can jump over to trading view now. Now you don't have to be on the same broker as you're trading through Pine Connector. I recommend you do because the data feed will be a lot closer to what you're seeing on MetaTrader. If possible, some people can't get up the data feed from their broker on TradingView that they're using on MetaTrader, but I can with Pepperstone. So I'm going to leave this as it is. All right. So now we're good to go with firing our test alert. So let's do that now. Let's come up to create new alert. Now I want this alert to fire immediately. So I'll just set this to greater than zero. I only want it to trigger once. I'll call this PC test. So I'll paste my syntax in here. So this needs to be in the correct order. Otherwise the alert won't work correctly. And the order is our Pi Connector license ID, the command we want to execute, the symbol, and then most of the other parameters can be placed in any order, but um, we'll cover that in future videos, the, the syntax order. But for now, for testing an alert, we have our, our license ID, a command to buy at market Aussie dollar, with the uh, little suffix here. And our risk is one mini lot. So 0 0.1 would be one mini lot. In future videos, I'll cover how to set this as a percentage of your account balance based on your stop loss. Um, and we'll go over other risk management features of Pine Connector. But for now, this should do the trick. All we need to do now is make sure webhook URL is turned on under notifications. All of these other settings are optional. Make sure this URL matches the uh, one at the top of this page, webhook.pineconnector.com. And now when I click create, we should get an error. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's have a look at this error code. So if I go to docs.pineconnector.com forward slash error, we'll get a list of error codes and what they mean. All right, let's have a look at what our error code was. 4756, four, 4756, trade request sending has failed. I've had this problem before. So check the journal tab for the exact error type. So that's down here, journal. All right, so just to recap, I tried to send a test alert. The syntax was correct, but MetaTrader rejected the order and this is the error reason. So I went to the docs page, as it said, I searched for this error code. I've opened up my journal and here it says unsupported filling mode. Depending on the broker you're using, you may need to change an extra setting like I have to now. So what I have to do is use broker set B in the expert advisor. So I need to come back to MetaTrader, right click uh, experts list properties, scroll down to the bottom to miscellaneous broker set. Mine is set to set A. I need to double click on this and set this to B for unsupported filling mode. So unsupported filling, click OK, close this, go back to trading view. Now I can open up my alerts page, edit this and resave it. That will reset the alert. There we go, it's active again. Just fire it again, open up Pine Connector and we have an open trade. Pine Connector just opened a trade on Aussie dollar at market with one mini lot. You can see down here, volume is my position size. 0 0.1 is one mini lot opened at market using a trading view alert. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. This opens up a whole world of possibilities with uh, TradingView and PineScript. 
obviously there are other ways to auto trade um, and to be frank uh, better ways to auto trade if you're familiar with python or um, mql or any of these other more powerful languages but they're very complicated to learn and there's a lot of overhead involved in getting them to work where the beauty of trading view is its simplicity i can now create a script that i can back test on the forex markets or any market that works through metatrader that is compatible with my broker i can throw together a script really quick add in some alert syntax fire it off to metatrader and within a second i'll have a trade opened with all my stops and targets parameters all set even if i'm asleep and so for those of you who have a very thorough understanding of PineScript, this is the best tool for automating your trading. Now it is risky. Make sure to do your homework. There is risk involved. There is the possibility that something could go haywire if you haven't um, properly tested your script and you could lose a lot of money very quickly. So always do your own due diligence, do your own testing. This is not a toy. This is very serious. Um, there are serious risks involved in using this tool without full knowledge of how it works. So. Take the time to use a demo account to wrap your head around everything. Make sure to follow the rest of the videos in this guide I'm putting together. We'll do a deep dive into Pine Connector, the new dashboard, all the new features in this back end. Um, we'll go into great detail about this. I'm even considering putting together a brand new self-contained course just on Pine Connector. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button, sign up to our newsletter if you haven't already. It's completely free. Every week I send out something that I've found valuable and useful in my own trading. And that's one way to stay in the loop with what I'm up to and new content, that sort of thing. With all that said, I'll wrap this video up here. I wanna keep these videos concise to each topic. In the next video, we will go into the syntax of Pine Connector and some more of these backend features such as the uh, signal mapping, which is a great feature that will simplify using uh, Pine Connector with different brokers. You saw how I had to add dot A on the end of my symbol there. I can remove the need to do that through the use of the signal mapping feature. It's very useful for some brokers, um, but we'll get into all of that in future videos. For now, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Best of luck with your trading, and I'll speak with you soon. Take care.